So you're basically doing a camp menace slash Rami, what he did before the Olympia, but you're doing it for the Chicago Pro. Absolutely, yeah. You know, and it's 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 amazing how all this kind of transpired. You know, I had a had a talk with Dennis, and um, you know, Dennis is my trainer. Uh, Chad Nichols is my uh, nutritionist, my coach. Not bad. So yeah, we're all you know, it's like one big family right now. So um, it's it's it, you know, it's it's fun. It's a lot of hard work, but also it's fun too. You know. We all work well together, of course, and, you know, obviously, you know, we're in the same circle, so everyone communicates with everyone, and, uh, you know, Chad, we were laughing about that, you know, Chad sent me my new meal plan for uh, the next four to five days, and, uh, you know, sent it to Dennis as well, too, so, you know, and Dennis is, uh, uh, you know, it's just great with hospitality, you know, him and his wife just nice uh you know treats me great when i'm here of course so uh but it's right on the money with everything i'm talking about per ground you know with <laughs> food with, with everything i love not, it not i love it over yeah so mm. um you know and you know and it's um you know this whole prep you know, no doubt about having cheated at all you know having uh you know beer off the plant or anything like that i've done my card every day like i should of course you know, but of course, when you're at home, it's so easy, you know, to uh, when you have a 100 grams of rice on your meal plan and, you know, let's just say you have a little bit extra in that in that rice cooker and you're like, oh, what's another 30 grams going to do? Let me just take that so I don't waste it. But, you know, hmm. no, we don't, they don't play that over here. Like 100, it's 100 and that's it. So how did the chad and dj thing fall into place because that's pretty much the the team that was behind rami obviously chad chad i I know i know chad very well he's very very selective who he works with he turns away a lot of people so how did you manage to get those two in your camp how did you how did that how did that come around you know i was uh talking to a friend of mine in dallas and um i was uh i just had this idea that I honestly just wanted to get out of Dallas and uh, just go to this, um, you know, uh, a place in regards to where I would just be 100% focused on training. Mm. And, you know, just, I just wanted to know, I I knew I wanted to bring my best to the Chicago Pro because that's a show that I had already picked at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. And for me to do that, of course, it's, uh, it's, it would be, you know, me to kind of isolate myself and, really getting away from you know the world i guess you could say hmm. and you know going you know somewhere to where it's just you know eat sleep and train and that's not the mentality i like to have going into a prep and uh, i was talking to a good friend of mine he's like man why don't you reach out to dennis i was like yeah, yeah of course man like you know dennis absolutely i'd love to you know and uh prior to you know talking to dennis you know me and dennis haven't you know spoken on the phone or anything and you know haven't had any uh you know any type of real conversation or anything like that and um uh he reached out to dennis for me and uh i remember when dennis originally texted me uh i got a text on my phone and i looked at my phone it's probably like you know the same day and i got a text saying hey this dj give me a call and i was like dj who the fuck is dj (laughs) like i just wow and uh i didn't I looked at it and I just didn't do anything. And I remember I was at a, uh, I was at Stroud's a couple of days later and uh, I was talking to Johnny, Johnny Jackson. And um, I was like, Hey man, I was like, uh, you know, uh, man, my buddy reached out to Dennis and um, you know, Dennis didn't, you know, Dennis didn't hit me back. And he's like, really? It's not like Dennis, like Dennis is right on the money with everything. Mm-hmm. And he called Dennis like right there. And he's like, Hey, I'm here with Joe Mackey. Like, uh, you know, he said he reached out and you'd hit him back. And Dennis was like, man, tell that fool, man, I hit him the, like the same day. Tell him to look at his phone. And I was like, what? And, of course, <laughs> I looked at my phone and it was, it, you know, DJ Dennis James. I yeah. just didn't put two and two together. But, yeah, it didn't mean-